Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, a couple of wines in front of me, uh, and they're both from southern France, uh, but made from different, quite different grapes. First one I've got is from a uh, Vignoble Jean Jean. They make wines all over different parts of the uh, uh, of, of the uh, of the French Mediterranean. This one's uh, they're a Mass Neuf um, Muscat Sec. 2014, uh, weighing in at just 11.5% alcohol. I was going to do this second, but then I looked at that light alcohol and I thought, hmm, let's go for it. it, it it's crispness first, rather than uh, the slightly weightier one that's, uh, that's to follow. Anyway, I'll get my conch in it. And it's classic musket. Um, it's got uh, some of the um, apple and citrus that you would get in quite a lot of wines, Sauvignon in particular. But here it's a grape that actually smells of grapes. And it's got also, um, in, in some parts, it, the, the, it's got an even more exotic perfume than this. Here there is almost, a, yeah, there's a little touch of the, um, the lychee that you get in, in Gewurztraminer, that slightly spicy um, oriental note, if you want to call it that. But it smells like it's going to be uh, refreshing. And that grapey intensity really comes through. Um, Eleven and a half percent, so it's it's got a crisp side. Uh, Muscat doesn't have a whole load of acidity, so having something that is lower alcohol means that, um, uh, and, and particularly doing it dry, it means they pick the grapes a little bit early to keep a little bit of freshness in there. And they've done they've done a really nice job job with it. Um, I, I I really like that. It's the sort of wine I could sit there. Actually, when I, when you can sit there on a terrace and sip most things if the sun's out and. Uh, uh, and you've got a punker wall that sort of just like making sure that uh, you don't suffer from the excesses of the heat. But um, it's it's a tasty tasty wine. Second one um, is from uh, Domaine Dopiac in the the Languedoc uh, from uh, Sylvain Fada at um, that he's the producer and. Um, I don't think it says Mont Peru. I think I don't know if Mont Peru is only for red wines. I don't know. Uh, but uh, the blend here: Roussin, Marsan, Grenache Blanc, and Vermentino. Um, roughly equal proportions, give or take five percent. Uh, it's 2014 uh, Les Cocaliers, and this is a much richer, headier style. Now, what were those proportions again? Um, it, it, does, it smells. If, if you said to me it's got some Viognier in there, I, I would I would believe you because this, this is quite exotic. Honey stroke, honeysuckle character coming through. Peachy weight, um, aromatic uh, interest. So really, you know, when um, you have roses and the pe petals start to fall off, and the smell of the rose water there, uh, it's got that headiness about it, and um, uh, and then this peachy nut kernel character, which is very Viognier-like. Oh, that's delicious. Juicy, rich, powerful, and. Um, I think that that Vermentino is the thing that's bringing uh, the, these quite fleshy grapes. Marsan and uh, Grenache Blanc are quite fleshy. Uh, Roussin sometimes, yes, it, Roussin's got a bit of freshness, but here you've got the spine of Vermentino, maybe some of the aromas of uh, Roussin, this weight of Grenache Blanc and Marsan. And maybe that's, the, that's where that honeyed peachy character comes in. It's all in all, it's a very impressive blend. I don't like to take wines apart. Uh, when they're like that, you just want to sit there and uh, uh, what would I like with that? Something rich and creamy and mushroomy. Um, yeah, baked mushrooms done in the oven with a little bit of garlic on and uh, then just as they come out, drizzle some cream and white wine, maybe a drop of this on and uh, uh, and have lots of uh, bread to mop up all the juices. And uh, I would drink rather a lot of that. But on other occasions, I'd drink rather a lot of uh, the previous one. Although we're in November here, so I'm probably more inclined to uh, to have the the, the, the Dopiac. It is a finer wine, uh, but um, if it was summer, I'd go for the Muscat Sec every time. I think. Hey, horses for courses. See you soon. <laughs>